Uh, Mr. President, uh, today was an inspiring day, uh, but also a sad day. <clears throat> Vermont, in the past few days, has suffered a severe flood from a storm that in some places dropped nine inches of rain that tumbled down off the mountains into our streams, flooded those streams and rivers, overflowed into our villages and some of our major cities. To my right, we're looking at downtown Montpelier, the capital of Vermont. Here, we're seeing damage up in what's called the Northeast Kingdom to infrastructure. There are scenes like this everywhere. Senator Sanders, Congresswoman Ballot, Ballot the entire Vermont delegation with me, uh, toured Vermont with the governor of Vermont, Phil Scott, and with our FEMA administrator, Deanne Criswell. It was an inspiring day because we saw firsthand the extraordinary response of our government. President Biden immediately declared a state of emergency that unleashed the ability of FEMA to provide resources. We saw our governor and our first responders in Vermont, our National Guard, our medical personnel, who, and our first responders who did so much to rescue people and animals. We saw Vermont volunteers who were along the main street of Montpelier uh, when Senator Sanders and Congresswoman Ballant and I were there coming out of their homes to help folks whose businesses uh, had been devastated. And we saw the press, the Vermont press, reporting constantly and giving detailed information about every location in Vermont that was underwater, giving an update in a report about how things were coming and where people could help. And by the way, it's just a testament to the vital importance of local journalism. So we're grateful as well to the hard work that our news organizations and the reporters did, oftentimes putting themselves in some significant peril. So that was very inspiring. What's sad is the damage of these storms in this particular storm is just overwhelming. Meeting homeowners in Barrie who in the case of one man that we spoke to, had lived in this home, very modest home, but very beautifully taken care of. It's where he raised his child, where he tended his garden. It had four feet of water in his basement, and that was the good news, because the water had been up to his first floor. And he's desperately trying to get the water out to try to get that place in a position where it's not going to have mold and that his lifelong home that means so much to him will be repaired. We saw a woman who lived in a mobile home. And all of us know that when these weather catastrophes occur, it's oftentimes the people with the least that suffer the most. She came out of her mobile home and walked across a deep mud drenched field in Barry, Vermont, towards us and the governor with a little pail that represented toys of her children. And she really had no place to go. Her mom had suffered flood damage as well, and they were huddling together with her, her partner, and her kids. And what's so hard is it's easy to understand the challenge that that father had, that mother had, <clears throat> and we're there and it's hopeful for them that we show up, that our federal uh, FEMA administrator was there with her team. But what we know is that tomorrow, when the sun is shining, hopefully, because more rain can be forecast, her life has to go on, but it's without the foundation that she built, that that father I mentioned built over 30 years. So that's the heartbreak. It's really, really hard for folks who have established the stability in their lives to see that business that they had 
committed themselves to and worked so hard to establish, that home that they cared for and tended, that home where they provided security to their family, the mystery to them is what's going to happen. And it's why it is so important for us, and I'm asking my colleagues for their support, that we do the minimum, and the minimum is at least get those federal resources from FEMA back to Vermont, which is in a state of emergency and where so many Vermonters have suffered very significant loss. They're willing to face it. People do that. They know they've got to clean that house up, but they've got to have some help. And it's a help that they get from their neighbors, it's a help they, but it also has to be help that they get from the government that has to back folks up when through no fault of their own, there's a catastrophic weather event and it does so much damage to the lives and livelihoods of so many. So Senator Sanders and Congresswoman Ballant and I certainly were very proud of the Vermont response from the governor to the administrators to our press that's on the case. But we've got a job here and I am gonna be asking my colleagues for us to do that which only the federal government can do. And that is provide those financial resources to help folks when there's been a weather emergency where they live. And if there's any base level function of government to try to bring us together as a community, as a United States of America, is to stand up and help folks, whether it's in Vermont or it's in Louisiana or it's in deep Texas, wherever it is, when there's a, an event through no fault of their own, where the weather is doing so much damage, I think each of us re reveres the opportunity we can have to help our colleague and the folks that our colleagues represent. Vermont needs help now. And Senator Sanders and I will be seeking to obtain that help on behalf of Vermonters. But I want to wind down here a little bit by describing a photograph, a site I saw and took a photograph we don't have here. Along the river in Barry, where the mud had come down and the silt had settled way outside of the banks of the river, there were three beautiful bicycles that were in a tangled mess and half buried. And what it represented clearly was the bikes of three young kids, maybe boys and girls, who look forward at the end of the day on a beautiful Vermont summer day to riding that bike and having fun. They don't know where those bikes are. And they're buried, they're twisted, they're out of their reach, and it's having an effect on their life. And I know Vermonters are gonna respond as I hope our federal government responds. We've gotta get bikes for those kids. So one of the things that we have to do is make some contributions to funds that Vermonters have done before when we suffered a tropical storm, Irene, where we were trying to put families with the help that they needed to be able to have those kids back out on their bicycles in a beautiful Vermont summer uh, that can, after this storm, resume. And what I hope we do here, and I'm gonna be, as I mentioned, joined fully by Senator Sanders, who led today's delegation, uh, is seek the assistance of our colleagues so that this government can be a friend at the time of need for the Vermonters who in times of others' needs have always been there. And I wanna thank many of my colleagues who've approached me, uh, Senator Kennedy, uh, foremost among them, who's had a lot of experience with national de disasters in Louisiana. But one colleague after another saying, Peter, if there's anything that we can do, we wanna help. So I take <laughs> everyone at their word and I wanna end where I began and that is my expression of gratitude to the response from Vermonters from President Biden, from Administrator Chriswell, and my, from my colleagues as well. Vermont is strong, we'll get through this, but make no mistake, it's asking so much of a family who's lost a home. 
It's so much. It's asking so much of kids who summer expectation is they're going to be able to ride in those Vermont country roads and enjoy being out with your friends and no longer have that bike. It's asking a lot of families who are wondering what's going to happen now that mom's business is closed. It's going to ask a lot of Vermonters who are trying to figure out how in the world, even with help here, they're going to navigate the paperwork that's necessary in order to get that assistance. And what we are going to do here, in addition to seeking the assistance that's required, is that Senator Sanders, Congresswoman Ballant, and I are coordinating our casework response because there's a lot of concrete challenges that folks face and we want them to absolutely call us and we're gonna work it out between the three of us to make sure that we can help the most Vermonters as quickly as possible get access to things that will be helpful to them to rebuild their future. We'll be strong, we'll recover, but I just wanna end by acknowledging uh, the sadness I feel for so many families who in businesses that have been so hammered uh, by this storm. And this storm, by the way, was dropping so much rain as a result of the change in our climate that at this point is undeniable. The warmer temperatures over the ocean creates much more moisture in the air in what was gonna be a, quote, normal rainstorm becomes a deluge. Three inches turns into six or seven or eight or nine inches. So we do owe it to the future to act with alacrity, effectiveness, and determination to address the climate factors that are going into creating these mega storms.